Brittany's going to be expensive. <laughs> I have money. <laughs> hey guys, today we're talking season seven, episodes one through three of Love is Blind. That's right. The show is back. Yep. The pods are yeah, open. Wait for this. And in D.C.? Yeah, I know, up in our area. It's yeah. awesome. Yep. So what do we think of the cast, guys? Who's your favorites? I honestly, at first, really wasn't impressed with most of the cast, man. But I tell you, there's a freaking major douchebag in this cast. Like, I guess there is in every season, You right? gotta have so, one, at least. You gotta have one. Why not? His name is Leo. <laughs> <laughs> and he's an art dealer. Yeah, well, he's got some money. Yeah, okay. yeah boy, right? He's well, he lets yeah. everyone know. <laughs> he makes damn sure everybody knows about his money, even though he wants to find a girl who doesn't love him yeah. for his money. Exactly. Yeah. Dude's homeboy's passing around his freaking Rolex. Like, bro, check out my Rolex. Look at this shit. Touch it, wear it. <laughs> I didn't get to see that oh, because man. I'm watching this season blind. I'm yeah. actually listening to it, not watching it. So I have seen the two reveals. So I know what those four people look like. Other than that, I haven't seen what any of these people look like. Yeah. And I can tell you, Leo's a douchebag. <laughs> Leo is he told you. That, that dude does not belong on the show. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't need to be married right now, right? That kid's not mature enough to be married. So, so who do you like, though? So I like Taylor and Garrett, man. I really like them a lot. I like Tyler and freaking uh, and uh, Ashley, man. I thought they were a great couple. So, I mean, and, and all along, like, when those two were talking together, those four people each talking to each other, like, you could tell they were connecting really well. Like, they were really stuck towards each other. They really didn't date around too many other people. At least we didn't see that. So I, I thought they were both great couples. And, I, you know, uh, to me, they're on there for the right reasons. Yeah, I'm a big fan of uh, Taylor. I'm not too big in Garrett. That just kind of, he kind of bores me. I don't know. Gary's cool, man. Gary's cool. I like I, it. I think they're a good couple, hey, but. Oh, yeah. They're just, both science yeah. you know, so got the tattoos yeah. and all that good stuff, right? Yeah. Playing chess together. They both are like Heisenberg. You know, I so. thought Hannah was cool at first, but the more I see of her, I, I don't know. Maybe it's because oh, like dude. this Hannah's triangle immature. thing that's going on is just too much mm. for me. I don't really know. Yeah, but. Hannah, Hannah's immature, man. And right. she's young. She's like 26, yeah. so. I did think like, so I did look at everybody's names and ages on a mm. list. I didn't see any pictures, but they've got a pretty decent age of cast. Like they're yeah. in their thirties. There's a few in their upper twenties. So they're supposed to be at a mature relationship age. Yeah. But they I did mean, good there versus bringing someone like 21 who's yeah. not ready. But you know, so let's talk about that first love triangle. Then cause you got Hannah and then you got, you know, uh, Nick D. Nick Dork, D. Nick D. The Big kicker. Dorka. The yeah. kicker. That's and right. I, thought I, he might, kicker. Kicker. I thought he might hook up with a girl that was like a Baltimore, worked for the Baltimore Ravens. Yeah, I know, Who right? Who was that? Yeah. I remember hearing that. I think that. her name was Kate. Yeah, maybe. Because we didn't she's see like much 35, of her. 35, I think. But yeah, we, didn't, uh, we didn't see much of her. She's in there for like the first episode and then uh, she's just in the background. Mm. Yeah, exactly. You're a Ravens fan? Well, they pay my bills, babe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then, uh, and then, of course, Leo. So she got Nick D and Leo, right? And of course, Nick D comes off at first. All the girls are like, oh, man, this dude's a total player, total F boy and all that. Then later, we see a softer side of Nick D, right? Once he really just focuses in on Hannah and starts talking to her, you can see him really start to open up. And and and, and for me, I could tell that the whole suave crap that he was pulling in the beginning was probably like, he's probably got some insecurities, right? So just trying to hide behind him with this suave nonsense when in reality, the dudes, he's got a really soft side to him. So Yeah, I don't know if I'm buying into that. I mean, I don't know if he's a player, but I think he's somewhere in the middle, but I don't know. I mean... A lot of women are not impressed with him. Matter of fact, they're warning Hannah. Like, I would watch yeah. out for that mm -hmm. kind of guy. And she's kind of falling for him. But in the back of her mind, she's probably saying, I don't know if I can believe what this guy is putting out there. Right. And, and this happens every season, right? Where oh, there's yeah. the one guy that the whole every girl is like, stay away from that guy. And then there's one girl that's like, but maybe. Right. But I don't <laughs> know how Leo's able to pull multiple people unless it's oh, like it's a money, money. factor. Because he it seems boring be the money. to me. He's yeah, not yeah. even having fun with these women. The kid's well, boring as hell. He keeps playing on these two women now at this point, And they both know he's playing on them both. And they're still sticking around for his bullshit. So well, it's, it's he, totally the money. He had to actually, you know, he keeps saying he doesn't want someone to like him for his money. But he right. actually had to point out his money to Hannah because... He in their second well, date. Quit her job. Yeah, quit, yeah, she quit yeah. her job. But but in their second date, he said, "I like that you didn't like you know ask me a whole lot of questions about like me being an art dealer." You know, you like, sound whatever. like Leo. Yeah, <laughs> and like and he and she's like, "Well, honestly, I don't I don't really even know what Dude, that means." And he's I, like, "Oh, well, I make a lot of money." <laughs> yeah. it means I'm very well off, and uh, yeah. you know, 
And, and, and but this and like I wanted to slap the shit out of this kid in the second episode because I couldn't stand him. But like the and like I'm just so cool and like I make this money and like and like it like it like it like it like it like it like it. Like, and that's all this kid was saying was like every other word. And I was like, shut the freak up. Does this guy like, looks super Lord. young? How old is he? Because you keep calling him a kid. He, he is a kid. He's thirty. So. <laughs> But uh, Brit- and, he, and he acts a hell of a lot younger. Brittany's than that. kind of like begging this guy, like I just want to have a date and have fun. But he keeps bringing up, like, yeah, you know, I got a tough decision, and I'm yeah. not yeah. Uh, no. convinced of who I'm going no, for. Dude, no. And then he even pops the thing about like. Let's talk about rings. And I thought he was joking, being sarcastic, where she's like, are you going to ask the other girl about her ring, too? And he's like, yeah, oh, I want to be fair. He was, he was like, I was either going to ask both of you or ask neither yeah. of you. And she's like, what? Yeah. Well, and then, and I don't then, know what he's thinking she's hearing right. on the other side. Well, and like, then Brittany's another one, right? Because I thought at the very beginning, in the first episode, she came up very superficial. Yeah. Oh, I only date rock stars and athletes and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, okay, this chick's fucking she here. She is famous. very superficial because you know? who would yeah. stay with the guy that's talking about I'm oh yeah confused and I, I want to know what ring you want so I can get what ring she wants yeah. and then, yeah. well, and then, and then and he's like hinting I want to say I love you and see how it feels back and then I'm like <laughs> well, dude, why don't you dude. tell it to me <laughs> and then the whole ring conversation he's like yeah so oh, you know I know I you it. so well Brittany like I think you want like maybe a square or I'm thinking an oval. And she was like, oh yeah, oval. He's like, yeah, oval yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking first. <laughs> <laughs> You're a square or an oval? Oh, fall. I swear to God, I, I was like, <laughs> he's like good. Oh, yeah. It's on the side yeah. of the street and she's was, falling. Oh, yeah. It. I was like, what the? And, but then she's rolling her eyes when he's saying all this shit. I'm I like, so it's that. like, is she not? It's like, she's buying into his bullshit, but she's rolling his eyes. I was like, what the hell's going on? Well, at one point, she seemed like she was kind of disgusted and he said, I'm going to get you a surprise. And she's just like, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to make everything better. Going to have a surprise for you. A surprise for me? Yeah. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'm going to think of it. Okay. And then, and, then she, and then he copied freaking, uh, what was it, Tyler and Ashley, right? Tyler yeah, and Ashley shared their blankets, and that was cool, right? So he just copies Tyler's idea and gives her his damn blanket. And I was like, what a douche. He couldn't afford to go get him. <laughs> I'm actually <laughs> rooting for Brittany and Leo because I think I that's know. only they how they yeah. work. Yeah, they he's got money. Days. She seems yeah. to want money because 50-50 deals don't work for her, right? Yeah, right. she wants yeah. money. Right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> but she wants money. However, like I went on a roller coaster with, with Brittany. Like I, again, I thought she was superficial at the beginning and like just wanted the money. Um, but then I feel like she just wants, she wants to be chosen. She wants to be loved for who she is. And I think she has some insecurities of what she can offer. Other yes, than but she wants to be chosen by somebody with money who can take <laughs> care of her. Yeah, I bet so if you I agree with you on that. Broke, she does she probably want that. wouldn't be interested. Because that's the thing. She mentioned that. She's like, you know, all these other guys, you know, they always had another woman they were dating. It's like, yeah, you were dating freaking rock stars and athletes. No shit they got other women But what dating, I don't right? want so. for her and whether she's, maybe she's just not mature enough to be in a relationship that right. she needs to work on herself. But I don't want her to go into a relationship with someone like Leo who is so can manipulate her so easily. Yeah. You know, you get married to someone like that. It's either going to be over quick or years down the road that that's a lot of resentment. And then she's not going to know what from I, what. I don't know how the other guys are just not fed up with Leo for the oh, way dude. he acts when exactly. he's around yeah. them. No doubt. And like, cause he seems kind of like out Douche. to lunch yeah. Yeah. like with reality, oh, totally. you know? In his own little world. Well, and, and, I got, and I got news for you, Leo. Like, your whole family died of cancer, bro. It's only a matter of time for you to get that shit, too, probably. Maybe Bernie's so, thinking like, of that. Yeah, maybe yeah, maybe, like, hey. but, he did, but he did bring up, at least to Hannah, he brought up freaking uh, prenups, right? So, well, he mentioned like, it to Brittany, too. He mentioned something about um, if they were to get divorced, that all his money that he has is meant for his children. So like, he's right, not he going to give it to an ex-wife. Right. Now I think it'd be different. Like if he died and they were still married, yeah. but um, yeah. And this dude literally went through the list. His mom, his dad, his grandparents, everybody died of cancer. And I was like, bro, that ain't boding well for you at all, man. Grandpa got cancer, died. My grandma got cancer, died. My mom got cancer, died. My dad got cancer and my stepdad got cancer all in three years. I was like, damn. He yeah, and that's how he got, it sounded like he got a lot of money. I mean, yeah. I don't know how much comes from like that versus the art side of the house. Yeah. But well, he, he won he the business lottery, yeah. but he didn't win the genetics lottery. Right. Yeah, he said he inherited the business, right, from his, whole, from his family, yeah. right? So, yeah, I don't know, dude, but... We got uh, one person, Yenny. We only see her to make a comment about she's not in the lettuce. She don't yeah. like lettuce. So. I hate lettuce. I hate everything about it, and I won't eat anything with it on top. Uh, You're just sitting there like, 
just the look on his face, you could tell he just wanted to leave right then. He's like, all right, I got to get out of this. I place. need more from this woman. I need right. this probe. Like, what right. what do you got against the lettuce? She's right. not eating it on something or mm -mm. in something. Like, if, that lettuce, no if it lettuce is touching something, she ain't eating it. Yeah. yeah. And Hannah says she don't sleep naked because yeah. she's afraid of, like, a snake or an insect crawling into her uvula. Yeah, yeah well, up in know. her man. She I don't know where she's there. sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> like, a snake? You're worried about some random snake just coming in? What? Uh, I don't know. Okay. I mean, oh, it is DC. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> be more worried about a rat, maybe. Yeah, no kidding. So, who else do we got here? What about? Oh, we got uh Stephen and Monica, right? Stephen and Monica are kind of yeah, chatting it up. Yeah, these two are kind of like weird to me, right? Yeah. Well, Stephen, like he's for a, a lot, pretty big guy. Yeah, he's former marine. I don't know that. Why would you say that? <laughs> Stephen's a former marine, and for his whole life, he thought it was Italian, but he found out he's like at least half black or something, right? So. I think it was like five percent or something. No, but like, more than that, because he said most of his most of it, he he listed like three West African countries where his genealogy was from. So he's got yeah, yeah, he's, he's all over the map. Like he yeah, don't right. even know whether to vote for Trump, Biden, <laughs> or who knows what these days. So right, exactly. yeah. I I do know that on my notes I put a little heart next to them, so I do like them together. Yeah, I mean I, I'm sure they're probably they are growing up. closer. Yeah. So and I bet they're they're gonna hook up. Yeah, I think so. And I mean, he said, I, I think what I really liked about him is at the beginning, he says he, he likes emotional intelligence, like he's big on communication. And, you know, those are those are big things. So yeah. there was one scene where like he's he, I think, like surprisingly says, I love you. And he like shocked him or maybe she says it. Yeah, and it's I like, think I remember hearing yeah, I love you. Yeah. So. Yeah, and that's how they ended up saying I love you to each other. Right, right, exactly. And these guys, man, there's a lot of, like, tears being shed oh, this yeah, season, yeah. you know? Tyler uh, sheds a lot. Yeah, well, Ty Tyler doesn't believe in roles, and then immediately he says, and my role is the protector. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's always a role. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, I don't believe in roles, none of that, but I'm a protector. That's my role. <laughs> I think this guy might be getting too far ahead of himself, though, because he's, I mean, he says all the right stuff. It's good oh, he's, stuff. He's but a great I'm like, dude, man. He's a great you, dude. You haven't earn the ability to say that yet you just met this girl and now you're like i'm with you for life i'm like don't you have to like be with someone and then say that and for it to have that, any yeah. meaning you're just throwing these things out there without you having that no too early on i think so yeah, i mean probably but i mean is early on yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got four weeks well, you don't need to be saying strong words like that in my opinion because i think yeah, it i think it's it i mean i think it's okay because you got four you're you marrying you somebody so you're married he's he's big no big. that's something i'd say to my kids i have to be with a person for a pretty long time to rate that you don't just be like oh, I, i'm with you for life baby <laughs> well because well here's what he said to her he's like even if we don't work out in here like like you got me for life. Like even if it's just friends or whatever. Yeah, I don't, that's that just not true. So. That's not a true <laughs> statement. I hate when people say it. Right. But well, anyway, well, we'll well, never I do again. like well, these two. Damn it, Josh. He's yeah, smitten. I do like yeah. him. And man, when they hook up, like he is over the moon. Oh, dude, he's, like, he's oh my god, girl, you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. <laughs> he can't even keep yeah. it together. Yeah. yeah, I think, and I thought they looked great together. Uh, I, like I thought their lot, interactions together yeah. were were pretty natural. The two reveals that we saw, I didn't get the ick. No, I do not. I mean, I Taylor, Taylor and Garrett are yeah. great. And they're, you know, they're very. I mean, I thought they liked to make out a lot. Yeah. I did think it was a little awkward because I think she. I mean, she didn't think this because she was kind of reserved and just going with it, and she said all the stuff. Tonight, but like this guy, yeah, yeah. And, but he was like. Like I said, man, he was like crying every every other second, and you could just tell he was just like. She said she yeah. loved that. Yeah. Well, he, you know, and, and of course. And then uh, she assured him that, but I still think you're tough. She seems really tough. Well, and, and of course, Tyler, you know, he said he had the issues when he was younger of, of being emotionally connected to stuff, right? His mother. Well, and he he went yeah. way on the other side oh, now, yeah, so. Right, exactly. yeah, he, 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 he's, 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 he's making, making up, for up for some lost time. Oh, yeah. He said he felt bad because yeah. he wasn't there for his mom when her mom died and yeah. all that. So he just, yeah, he's definitely making up for lost yeah. time. And I mean, these two are. are are one of the, like the cute couples that oh, yeah, have sure. to be not root for them, you know? Exactly. Yeah. So, well, both of them so far, we've seen their reveals, yeah. right? I mean, you know, both of them is that way. Yep. Maybe they but. showed us that for a reason. Those are the first ones Who they showed knows? us. You know, yeah. last season, the UK, we thought Steven and Sabrina were going to be solid. And, yeah. and they were. Uh, they were the most the top. Whole, Dude, they're crazy, man. <laughs> so you never really know, but yeah. I'm, I'm rooting for these two for sure. Yeah, and then, well, then we got Tim and Alex, right? Then we, I think we got Tim and Alex together, right? Yep. So Tim, Tim, this poor bastard lost both of his older sisters. You know, he lost one to lupus. My mom's got lupus, so I know about that. And uh, just man, you just feel bad for this dude, man. And he seems like he's a very nice it was guy. His sister, too. Very... it was his older sister. Yeah, his sister. I said he lost one of his sisters lupus. I said my mother has lupus. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I heard yeah. you say mom. No, his sisters. <laughs> yeah, he lost his sisters. Yeah, both his sisters died. One of them died of lupus. But anyway, 
but very good dude. You know, I, and I like, uh, you know, I yeah, like and I Alex expect too. this couple to oh, link yeah. up eventually Absolutely. as well. Mm-hmm. Right. So yeah. we just haven't seen it yet in these first three episodes. Yeah. yeah. And, then, and then I like their last day, right? Cause their first couple of dates were very serious conversations. Stuff. Yeah. The last day got a little light hearted and he was like, man, he's like, you know what? He was like, I was wondering if I could have fun with you because their conversations were serious. And he's like, and now that we're having this date, he's like, this is like the best date ever. He's like, it's awesome. So it was cool to just see that, you know, see those yeah. two connect that way. So I'm definitely rooting for those two. And then we got the threesome, another threesome, man. Right. Another yep. threesome, man. We got Marissa with uh, Ramses and both. Oh, yeah. 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 And now these, this is awkward because these two guys are pretty the close. boys, man. Yeah. They're tight. Like in, the, yeah. in the room together, man, they're like best buds. And then they find out they're both after the same chick. And they're just like, holy crap, no way. But they're cool yeah. about it. Right. They're not hating on each other for it. They're still cool about well, it. Well, apparently so cool. she has a type. Yeah, they yeah, because yeah. they're two peas in a pod. I guess, yeah. Yeah, Bowden is former Marine. Now we see more Ukraine. of Bowden, so I'm, I'm, yeah. You know, I think it's I think, leaning in that direction. Yeah. I'd be kind of surprised, but you never know. Yeah, yeah. there's still a lot Bowden. more episodes left. Maybe they and they seem to be focusing more in on this couple now. So yeah. Yeah. we hear how Bowden are these three killed by a camel. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, That's I mean he story. To, he's yeah. he's Ukrainian and yeah. he went to go fight at some period in the Ukraine yeah. Russia uh, yeah. conflict. So. I mean, geez. Yeah. I, I mean, that's pretty nasty yeah. war too. So yeah, she was, she's a veteran. She was in the navy. They're both, yeah, yeah, she was in. So I, th- I would think that Asia's connection navy. would be pretty strong too. Yeah, having right. you know that service. Well, dude. Yeah. Well, within the hilarious part though is when they're talking about relationships and how many times you've been in love and, and being Marines, you know. Oh just yeah. The, the way their conversation, the way their conversation went, I was laughing my ass <laughs> off because you totally had that in units, right? Just people connecting and hooking up all the time and stuff like that. So when finally he was like, "All right." Out of the non-military stuff, he was like, "How many times you've been in love?" I've been told. <laughs> oh, so, sorry, I've been- okay. Hold on, outside the military, because I don't want to hear that bullshit. I was in the military. Say. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious, man. Um, I, I think they have good rapport with each other, and they're like, "Well, I think the military thing's kind of like a yellow flag." And right, he's like, yeah. "For me or for you?" She, she didn't like. She, didn't, she was yeah. like, "Yeah, it was agreed that his is a mil- uh, yellow flag," but when he said that hers was too, she's like, "Wait a second, no." Right. No. So, no. <laughs> So it yeah. seems like these two can have a conversation that the other two kind of can't, can't, which, which is why I would think she would lean more towards him. But yeah. who knows? Yeah. Maybe we're going to see more from Ramses coming forward. So yeah, maybe. I yeah. haven't heard her party story because remember, she said she was going to come back with that. Yeah we, yeah, we haven't heard it yet. We haven't heard her party story yet. Yeah, well, I don't think the camel's a party story. No. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I was like, that, party story. Maybe he tells it better at a, at a party. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. He just I guess so, but I'm there. like, he almost died from a camel. I don't yeah, know. Shit almost stopped my face. Maybe he's sitting back watching he's like that's edited that's not how i tell the story <laughs> it's not funny that way <laughs> oh man but yeah did we leave anyone out here all right so, hey, so back to freaking hannah and her freaking little freaking threesome thing there mm. the weight didn't come up at the beginning right she's telling these guys oh i was a cheerleader i freaking dated uh, yeah the, i think she was misleading a little bit early right, exactly. on exactly and, and I'm not saying anything about her, like, physically, but, like, I don't think you want to, like, pump yourself up and say, I'm a 10, and then they see you, and you're, like, an 8, even, right. or whatever. Like, right. I would think you want to, like, undersell yourself, especially oh, yeah. on a show like Love is Blind. Like, I'm a 4, wow. and if you're a 6, you're like, oh, hold three. up. She was having these conversations with Leo and with Nick, yeah, and both Nick said he looked like Henry Cavill. Yeah, he did, yeah. So, Nick, Nick did say I don't know if he like does. no Henry Cavill. Nick, Nick did say that. I don't know if he does. I don't know if we have another Megan that, Fox situation going on this season. <laughs> but he is not Henry Cavill. You don't look like Henry Cavill. All right. Well, I don't but, know. But, I'll I mean, let you but, know next time. But he's not an ugly dude. But he I don't think he's, he's a great looking dude. He's not a great looking guy. Either. He, you know, he, he's an average looking dude. He ain't Henry Cavill. So look, okay. everybody's he a little misleading Henry Cavill. when it comes to what they look like. Right. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, but, but she has some insecurities about, about her weight. weight. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so then she finally does go in and say, look, well, I've lost 45 pounds. I gained a low during COVID. You know, my mom had to lock up the cookies when I was a kid. <laughs> I do so. like how she brings this up, though. Yeah. yeah. You know, because I was worried that she was going to gloss over that kind of stuff. Right. And so I'm glad she does. Cause, and she talks cause about Because mind, you want to get into everything. Yeah. As we've seen on the UK stuff, like, they don't even get into some serious conversations that are problems later on. Uh, so let's talk about kids. Let's talk about money. Yeah. Let's talk about it all. Oh, yeah. And that all came up. In this. And, and the yeah. thing is, and she did talk about finances of both of them. Yeah. But she really brought it up with Nick. She's like, well, hey, you know, as a real estate agent, you know, what, how are we going to be, be here if we get married? And like, I don't have a job yet because I got to find a new job. And he's like, yeah. yeah, I've been kind of having a hard time. So that, you know, they went into that conversation where she don't got to worry about that with freaking. With yeah. The, and I like, wonder if right? he's already told her. I wonder yeah, exactly. if that exactly. plays in the back. Her mind's like, Leo's got the money. So yeah. that, oh, yeah. that, that allows sure us to travel oh, yeah. and do yeah. all these other yeah. things that I don't know if. 
are possible with this other guy. I don't right, have exactly. to immediately go get a job. Yeah. And we see but, it ends on that cliffhanger where she makes her decision to go to Nick, but then like Leo does damage mm. control. Oh, yeah. have, have you made up your mind? <laughs> oh my God. Hannah, like, can you at least just tell me like, what have you and the other connection committed to? Like, is- Dude, Leo, dude, Leo first of all, yeah. Cause Leo had that last conversation, you know, that special date that he screwed up with freaking uh, Brittany. You know, and he's telling her, look, you know, I think we can love each other. I think I can maybe love you and this and that. And they're talking about it. Yeah. And then so he was almost sold on Brittany mm-hmm. at that point, I thought. But then when he goes to Hannah and finds out Hannah's like pretty much all in on Nick D, he's like, Hannah, no, <laughs> no. what are you doing? You don't, you can't <laughs> do this exactly to me. What it sounded like, too. like, I don't know what he looked like saying it, but that's what I heard. <laughs> you just can't do this to me, Hannah. He's, he's like, like, how special are you? Yeah. Yeah. Promises yeah. that I make. Like, like, it's on like, deal. What promises have yeah. been made? Wait, can so, you go back on this? Yeah, here's where I'm like, Nick is actually being sincere. Leo is just, and at this point, it's a game yeah. to him, and he's trying to win. And it's just free. And then I feel I feel bad. Like I said, I feel bad for Brittany because he's totally manipulating oh, her dude, and she's yeah. falling but for she's it. Letting him but you know, because of the money. And she's she sat there and said that she wants him to choose her. And then when Hannah had gone back to the quarters and mm-hmm. said, you know, I'm I'm breaking it off with Leo, she's like, Oh yay, yay, because yeah. now he's mine and she doesn't have to worry about that. And it's like, well, that doesn't mean he's choose choosing you. you. And turns out here we are. But like they did ask that. him who you're going to choose. And he keeps mentioning Hannah's name. So I don't know. This guy waffles all the time. Yeah. I don't know if he really yeah. is sold on one person and he's yeah, never he's, really committed. No, no. I mean, he, he just playing the hell to both these girls. I'm like, man, he, and these girls are idiots just at this point. They yeah, should have both, both dumped his ass and been done with them. Exactly. I guess Brittany doesn't have another go to at this point. So no. and like Hannah does. So now her stock well, is rising. And the reason Brittany doesn't have another go to because all the guys are, are keen on Britney's game and they're like, dude, she's freaking expensive, right? Like, said, <laughs> she gonna cost right. money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, yeah, like, good thing that. I got yeah. some. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I got money. So, yeah. So, like I said, I think Leo and Brittany, if anyone they here is gonna hook up, that's them. But, yeah. I mean, what do you think of how, like, Leo looks since you haven't seen him? And what, what do you got in your yeah, mind? What's your picture? I don't know. I know you didn't like what he says, and I, I definitely don't like anything he says, but I really like the sound of his voice. So there's that. So I am imagining he's somewhat good looking. Like a one through a ten. What but do you I feel suspect like he's he is? Short. Maybe like five, six, five, seven. Oh, well, speaking of that, remember yeah, that one know. dude was talking to him about freaking uh, Hannah. He was like, dude, Hannah and I. I, Hannah really was, just don't know if that's true. He was like, Hannah was my number one. We had a mm-hmm. good conversation. But as soon as I told her I was 5'8", and she said she was 5'9", she ghosted me. And that was it after that. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, that's and, right. And, and, yeah. And, yeah. and he told Leo that. Yeah, he told Leo and, that. And, and, Leo and he yeah. never asked, like, she never asked him, though. And she makes comments like, I don't care what you look like. But then, Le- yeah. and remember, Leo said, like, what if I was 5'8", after he had that conversation? <laughs> he he mentioned that to her. To me. <laughs> he mentioned He said that to her. Maybe so I thought it was funny. The sound of his voice is sound short. It's what he says. Because he's. I think she just broke it off of that guy because she wasn't into him. It had nothing to do with the height. I imagine he's very well dressed and put together. Hmm. He's wearing a Rolex. (laughs) (laughs) I I heard about the Rolex. He loves showing showing that thing off. (laughs) Yeah, that's that's what I... Now, what do you think about, like, Britney versus Hannah? Britney, I just picture a real petite blonde. The high-pitched voice, it it just screams blonde to me. Um, Screams that to Leo, too. Hannah, <laughs> Hannah, I think of like blonde and like thick, full hair because of the Southern voice. Mm. Well, she's yeah, from West, West Virginia, Virginia, right? So yeah, like just like thick, wavy, curly, like beautiful hair. Right. Yeah, yeah I just yeah, I, I worry know. about <laughs> Hannah too imagine. because one, she's young. She mm-hmm. quit her job to oh, come yeah, on crazy. here. Yeah. She said she was making good money, but I'm like, well, that's a dumb decision. Yeah, well, I didn't and, like that. Well, when I heard and that. she said she did. Like, I made a ton of money. You know, I I quit my job. But then her immediately when she's talking to Nick D about like, hey, what's going to happen here? I don't have a job anymore. So if we get together, like, how are we going to handle this? It's like, well, obviously you didn't make that much damn money if you're still right. you know, super worried about this. And if, if you did, why why the heck would you leave it for this? Right. You know what I mean? Right, exactly. I'm interested to what she's going to be doing the couple of weeks that they're in the, whoever she pairs up with, because I imagine she'll choose one of these. I imagine she's got to go with Nick. I'm calling her right now. She's going with Nick. I agree. I think she can go with Nick. And I think, and, and I think the other two are going to yeah. go with Brittany. So, like, what is she going to do with her time? Like, is she going to be looking for a job when he goes to work? Because they they live in the real yeah, world yeah, together. She, if she's yeah. smart, that's what she'd be doing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Yeah. And besides the triangles, it, it seems obvious who's going to hook up. Like yeah, yeah. Tim is probably going to hook up, and then uh, Alex. Yeah. yeah. So 
Yeah. Um, yeah, and Steven's going to hook up. Who do you think Marissa's going to go with? You think he's going to go with Bodie? I think they're steering us towards yeah. that. I, I, think wise, they are. Yeah, I think they are as well. But I, I think in one of the clips, if I remember correctly, it showed it showed um, Ramsey. Didn't it show Ramsey's talking about like if he wasn't engaged? He's it, definitely around more. Yeah, so he, there, he we're going to see more yeah, of him. More. So I, I wonder if sure. like the next couple episodes, they're probably going to focus more on them and we'll see more of both yeah. of them. And we'll see yeah. which way she goes. I don't know. I think, yeah, I could see her leaning either way on that yeah. one. I mean, you do have the military connection over there, but like, you know, there's something she's attracted to that guy. We haven't seen much, so I'm sure it's going to happen. They're both cool, fun guys. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. We only know what they show us. Exactly. So. And I guess we'll find out more in the next couple episodes. So, you know, like we said, this, we just did the first three on this one. The next video will be the next three because they dropped six at once, which is just way too damn much to do in one video. So uh, I'm looking forward to like the little mini honeymoons oh, and then yeah, seeing man. the spots Absolutely. in DC yeah. since we're that's kind of local to us. And we've yeah. already probably been to every spot that's going to be in the show already. So yeah, it's cool. It's definitely cool having it in your town, right? Like you know, in your area. So you know, we're definitely looking forward to this. But hey, guys, uh, as always, man, we love doing this. Please tell us what you thought so far, episodes one through three. Don't yeah, spoil, don't spoil, <laughs> don't spoil four through six for us. We haven't watched them yet. And don't tell so, me what people look like. Okay? That's right. Yeah, she don't want <laughs> But, uh, hey, we love talking to you guys. Let us know what you think. We'll chat you guys up. And, uh, hey, I guess in a couple of days, we'll see you guys in our next review.